that. It, like, instantly fucks up. What's the point? You know what? I'm gonna make a mistake. I'm gonna make a mistake. We're gonna make a little bit of an uh-oh. Fuck it. I think it's good. Okay. <sighs> I'm not I'm not looking forward. <laughs> it's I'm not looking forward to it. This is gonna be horrible. Uh I'm pretty sure strike raid is what you're supposed to have on, because it kinda cheeses them a little bit. We'll try. I'm pretty sure it's strike raid. Fuck that, I'm putting on Leaf Bracer. Yeah, Leaf Bracer is just so much more. MP Rage is also really nice too to have for this fight. Um, but we definitely don't need Aerial Sweep really at all. I don't even think we'll need Hurricane Blast either, to be fair, but... I'll get rid of, like, a lot of this stuff to throw on MP Ridge. Hmm... Just gotta remember to put it back on, basically. There. Let's try that. This is gonna go horribly. It's gonna be so bad. So, what's gonna happen, right? Um, we're more than likely going to be fighting Riku for the entire stream. Um, I I have to imagine it's probably gonna be the entire stream. We could get lucky. It could, you know, not take the entire stream, but come on. I'm also, I'm glad that I checked that. Because we do not need that. We need arrow. Like, desperately. Oh god, okay. Here we go. This is the beginning of the end of Kingdom Hearts 1. I don't, I don't think there's anything here. Pretty sure there's not, like, any items or anything. Um, I forgot to put on items. Speaking of items. So this is gonna be where we are for the next, like, couple hours. Kyrie. We're only gonna let this play out once, but this is a very Kyrie. Kyrie. iconic cutscene. It's no use. That girl has lost her heart. She cannot wake up. What? You... you're not Riku? The keyhole cannot be completed, so long as the last princess of heart still sleeps. The princess? Kyrie's a princess? Yes. And without her power, the keyhole will remain incomplete. It Sora. is time she awakened. All women are, are queens. Let Riku go. Give him back his heart. But first, you must give the princess back her heart. What's... Don't you see yet? The princess's heart is responding. It has been there all along. Kyrie's heart rests within you. Uh huh. Kyrie's inside me? I actually don't know. Look at this I know out. all that there is to know. That's Tell not me. true. <laughs> no. Who are you? It is I, Ansem, the Seeker of Darkness. So, 
I shall release you now, princess. Complete the keyhole with your power. Open the door. Lead me into everlasting darkness. I'm not looking forward to this. Come. Okay. Okay. This is going to be a little bit of muscle memory. That's going to have to end up taking place here. So, the, I guess I could talk while doing this. I don't need to just sit here. Uh, but the reason why I, like, I'm, I dread this fight, but also I like it a lot more than the, the previous ones in Hall of Bastion, is that this is a fight that you can genuinely learn. Like, there's a lot of like tech and shit that goes into the fight that is not like impossible to learn. A, a lot of Riku is knowing what he can and can't do at a given time. Well, what now? Useless. Wind. Come. Now, the part that I don't like of Anthem Riku is uh, Phase 2. Or 3? I actually, I think it's Phase 2. I don't think he has 3 phases. Not in this game. I think it's also the game that you generally want to lower your air combo. Or the, the game, the fight that you want to lower your air combo. Because he can block the uh, the fourth hit. Yeah, this is the bad one. This is where the fight gets boring. Because even through arrow, he can one shot you. Here it comes. Is it infinite there? I'm pretty sure there is. There is a point in the fight where he, he goes into this and there is no uh, stopping it. Like you just have to kill him during it. That is the scary part of the fight. Because that's directly after getting through phase two. It's really that right there. 
him doing the, the projectile than doing the, the, the hit. He can chain you and just cheese you to death. It's very obnoxious. So I, I'm really regretting not coming in now with uh, healing items though, because you don't really get that many opportunities to cast anything other than arrow. I'm not doing terrible. Here it comes. Oh, shit. That's even worse. Heal. Slam. We've not done the annoying attack yet. Here it comes. That is the obnoxious. I, I think that's a bug. I remember that being kind of a, an issue that I had before. Where he would just like instantly do a double uh, double slam when he's not really supposed to do that. Well, you can tech it. I remember that. I remember like learning how to tech it. Yeah, yeah.
Nah. No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So we should be... Fine. With this stuff. Should be. We also are, uh, are under leveled. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be like 45 plus for this. Not that it's going to make a big difference, right? But you never know. Maybe it's like a health upgrade at 45. So it might actually be relevant. Um, I don't know how far we are away from leveling, though. If we're close, I, I might as well just try to get it. We level pretty fast at this point in the game. Alabastion is crazy for that. Let's see. Mm, yeah, no, we're not close. <laughs> oh well. Go we'll fight Riku again. Oh, I I forgot we can do this instead. So we don't have to wait for that. Lost it's no use. <sighs> come. Wind. Please don't tell me to come, Riku. Please don't command me. You will not like the outcome. Yeah, that's why you can't do that. I forgot. Can you do your thunder? Nope. Show me your power. Defense. Riku. Just keep spamming attack, he'll eventually die. <laughs> That's how this works, right? to the inside, you're pretty much never in danger from what I remember. I think, yeah, you know what, actually, you're probably fine going inside or outside. It probably doesn't matter. He, he doesn't follow close enough to really be like 
dangerous. Ow. Unless he does that. Easy, Riku. Ow. Why have Leap Bracer on? I made a whole bunch of changes to put Leap Bracer on. I gotta remember that. That's like genuinely game changing. It changes a lot of the math. A lot of the decision making. Slam. We're almost a base too. It's, this is not a great spot to be in. You bitch. You're so annoying. So we're about in the uh, very annoying attack range. <laughs> Okay, so now we're in the uh, end of the fight. Okay, you could stop that. You could not do that. You bitch. Can't see. So this is where he just decides that uh, you're not going to be able to play the game anymore. <laughs> It's over. Ow. This should help. It also is where uh, he decides to stop letting you do damage to him. Behold the power of 
are so annoying. I think right here is safe. Stop it! I did good there, and you fucking hit me. Oh, that's so annoying. That was such a almost well time. Okay, it's fine. Everything is fine. We found where this sweet spot is. Just a matter of playing. Playing clean is what I was gonna say. Okay. You did not need to do that, Shadow. <laughs> you did not need to waste my time like that. But hey, second try, we get him down to the, the final phase. So the thing that I've, I've always been like really bad at is that phase because he doesn't stop. There is no point where you get a time to do anything. You have to make your own uh, damage at that point. And it just ends up taking forever. It also sucks because you can't use magic and like my entire damage is predicated on being able to use magic. So just gotta play a little bit more clean than I usually would. A lot of it is just like, like genuinely, a lot of it is just being confident. Because you can play his uh, like powered up form the exact same way. There's nothing stopping you. Um, it's just a matter of, of knowing like the, the timings of everything. You're annoying. Defense! Show me your power! No, useless. Come. Come on! There are some times, even in like like the, the power form, like I I actually did it a couple times. Um but there are when you get the air combo plus. Show me your power. Just the, the plus one. You can sort of cheese it a little bit. That's unnecessary. Come on. Well, what now? Yeah, it wasn't really like that. Was not the original goal of that. I, I. If I had gone into it thinking that, like, I'm going to try and make something that's, like, an actual explanation, I think I would have structured a little bit differently. But I, I was really just, like, my first thought was that I wanted to take a, a, a clip of that one game because I thought the game was, like, a really good showing of, like, what that specific deck does. Um, but I, I started it and was, like... One, this is going to take way longer than I originally thought. Like, the video was going to end up way longer. And the, the way that I was recording it was, like, it was just weird. It, it There's no, like, speed control on it. So the recording just goes super fast, and then you pause it. And there's no other control. So I, I just figured, like, you know what? I The best way to go about this is to just like do a, a commentary over it which i've never done before and uh it was weird it was very weird but i don't know i watched it back and i was like this isn't that bad i don't completely hate this so i just figured why not why not throw it on my youtube um Honestly, I'll probably do more. Uh, I don't know if it'll be like super common, but I will probably do more. It was kind of fun. I don't really have like 
many outlets for Yu-Gi-Oh! Outside of like my uh, my little server, so the idea of like making a shitty YouTube channel that's like semi stream vods and also Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I'm not against that. I also feel like I just need to use my YouTube more. Like a while ago, I was using it for um, just like random clips of stuff. Like I have like some some unlisted videos on there that are like like clips from 14, clips from or old clips from Yu-Gi-Oh. They're fun, but they're like you know they're like three minutes long and they're I don't know. I can make them better. Also, I swear, when I was, like, figuring stuff out before, I swear I had a better way of recording stuff. Like, my recordings look so not good, and I don't know what's going on there. I thought I got that figured out. Don't do it. No, you stay over there. I guess this is my way of saying, though, uh, watch out for more YouTube videos. I will probably be making more. They're really bad. All the ideas that I have are really bad, but why not? I don't know, just right now I have it like uh I have I have them unlisted, but I, I could like start some playlist stuff. This is bad. Okay, that was way closer than it needed to be. Okay, well we missed a rotation of damage, but I think it's probably better to do that than die. I still have so much stuff to learn when I can see. There, there's so many like decks and like just really specific interactions and no, 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 no. No more talking. I have to. Okay. I didn't feel like I was that close. Whatever. But yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like I still have a whole bunch of stuff to learn about Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, realistically, I've only been playing it for... Three years? Two years? Something like that. Not that long. There are people who've been playing it for, like, 15 years. <laughs> Hello, sir. We just gotta get this first phase down to a science, and then we'll be good. Well, what now? Come on. The thing is, is that halfway through the fight, a lot of his like hit logic just completely changes. That was a waste of a heal. Show me your power. 
It doesn't help that we're using a very small keyboard. Just want to point that out. I'm going to take every out. Ow. Every out that I can. I'm going to John my way through this fight. <laughs> Very rude of you, Riku. Show me your power. Heal. You're nothing. Come. Welcome, oblivion. Okay. Fucking time. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Here it comes. Heal. Oh, you're so annoying. This sucks. Oh, come on. Yeah, I set myself over that. Uh, there's like a there, there's a really specific like distance that you can hit where you can hit him but not get hit. It's annoying. Honestly, yeah, that was my problem with uh, the fight before that I got stuck on the Ursula fight. That I, I really should have just swapped keyblades. Like I, I, I don't need to be using this keyblade. And it would make this fight and the Ursula fight so much easier if I just swapped keyblades. If I used a stronger one. Or one that's better for physical damage, and one that's longer. I would have a much, much easier time with this fight. Because I can't use magic just to begin with, right? So my MP is pretty much only going to healing and defensive stuff. But if I'm dealing more damage, then I don't necessarily need to spend all of my MP on arrow because, you know, I'm dealing more damage, so the arrow is more efficient. And because I'm dealing more damage, I don't... I'm making more MP, like... There's so many things that are pointing to, I just need to swap my Keyblade, but I'm stubborn. Heal! 
Riki, you gotta be the most annoying boss in this fucking game. At least, like, story boss. Optional bosses, they're on another level. Yeah, I knew I was getting greedy. Are you gonna do a single sidestep? Like, what the fuck, man? I'm trying to get damage here. Oh, okay. No. It's fine. He's also just like, it, this is what I mean earlier, like, his hit logic, like him actually taking a hit, it completely changes. At this part in the fight, when he starts to go into this, like, like stronger form, the way that he takes damage is entirely different. Like, in this form, it's pretty straightforward. He uses a sidestep, he gets hit, it's like an 80-20 that he's gonna take a stagger. In this form, good luck. Good luck. Like, that should have been a hit and a stagger, and it's not. No particular reason. Some slam. Just ether here. I'm not gonna have many opportunities to use it later. Okay. Did I already arrow? We'll just ramp it. This is not ideal. Uh, I mean, he's not easy in two. If you want to talk about, like, as far as between Sephiroth in one and Sephiroth in two, yeah, he's easier in two. But he's still a hard boss. Like, anybody who takes that away from you, just, they don't know what they're talking about. stress to you of frustrating that sequence of events was. I don't know, there's like, a, I, I'm not gonna get like too into it, because we'll, we'll get there. We'll get to the secret bosses and everything, and I'll have that conversation then, but there seems to be like a really weird, like elitist mentality when it comes to doing bosses in, uh, in Kingdom Hearts, and it's really weird, because uh, none of them are like... Objectively speaking, none of them are like super crazy. I mean, there's a couple that are annoying for sure, but none of them are like, oh my god, I I wasn't able to. I had to farm for like weeks to be able to do it. Like none of them are like that. They're all like, you sit there for a couple hours and you'll figure it out. Like come on. Here's the fun time. Here it comes. Open your heart to darkness. You're so annoying. I think I still die. Heal. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here. 
but yeah, that makes sense. I don't know, like, there's like a really weird elitist sort of feel when it comes to playing these games. Or not, you know what I mean, not playing the games, but like the community. There's like a really like, I'm better than you. Like, it, these are uh, ch make games made for children. Chill. <laughs> It'll be okay. You beat a boss in a video game from fucking 2001. You want a hug? Because that's clearly what you need. You're so fucking annoying. I die here. Oh. I should have died here. Okay. In the first phase, he would run at me and then side dodge. In that phase, he doesn't give a fuck. I do think it's in interesting, though. The fact that, like, that's sort of a phenomenon that's, like, very well known. And it sort of... It started in communities like that. They were, like, usually, like surrounding very casual games and things. Come. It's weird how that works. Ha. 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 Okay. okay. If we fail this one, I'm just going to swap keywords. No, not this fight. Well, Jamie, you now? you will not be seeing me at my greatest. <laughs> How's it going, Jamie? Oh, come on. about the, a lot of the stream but I think as of now like the only sort of competition that like genuinely really interests me at least still um, is card games and honestly like up until like semi recently all I was playing was Yu-Gi-Oh so I would almost say like really it's just Yu-Gi-Oh that I find interesting <laughs> But I, I like the game more than I like the competition aspect of it. Like, I would rather be playing, like, a really cool, well-thought-out, like, list that I made myself than just win, so. Um, we're fighting a boss. And we're fighting a very annoying boss. Two sidestep. There's a timing to that. Two sidestep. Here it comes. Come on, one more. Yep, I was stuck here for a couple days in the last boss. I mean, I was only giving it like like two hours, I think, of time. But I, I was stuck here for a second. Bracer just saved my life. Double projectile? Or are we doing sidestep? Sidestep! Yeah. 
What are we doing? You're a whore. Riku, you're a man whore. That is not the first time that this character has been called that. Side step. Okay. I got a little overzealous. Hydrate? Fuck you. What if I said no? What if I told you I'm not gonna do it? <laughs> One! One. Okay. Said I was gonna do it. Uh, we just need to find something that's not gonna lower it like that much. I guess it's very hard, but very hard is really fucking short. That's that's <laughs> that's real small. Uh, we'll give it a shot. I mean. We can't get the, like, the good one. At least not, well, we, yeah, we don't get the good one until after, so. I thought the title was good. I, I had a, like, a very stupid one before, and I was like, no, 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 I got a better one. <laughs> My brain can make a better one. <laughs> Though, I mean, I gotta say, not to call a spade a spade here, but Marluxia's wife is, that that's up there too. I mean, that's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> but how's it going? Hopefully you're doing well. I'm suffering because I'm not very good at this game. And I just kind of pretend like I can uh, muscle memory my, my way through it. I love the instant turnarounds he does. That's really what makes my 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 life happy. Now with this true power. This is bad. I roll back into it. There comes heal. Defense. There comes. That felt kind of unnecessary there, Riku. Here. Here it comes. We got it. Honestly, I'm thinking the, the Keyblade change here was the right choice. Because we've now done like double the damage in half the time. Ow. Yeah, Ripple Drive. It's really good. You only get it, or I'm, I'm assuming you get it, uh, like otherwise, but you only use it if you're playing a magic run. And most people just play a uh, hit X until opponent dies, so <laughs> that's what we'll be doing for Kingdom Hearts 2. Because I can't be fucked using magic in Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> I'll use it in one, because I remember how to use it in one, but... You know what, actually, I take that back. We'll probably do magic, because I've never actually done, like, a full, like, spam gravity magnet fucking, like, speedrunner build. I've never done that before, and it sounds fun. Ow.
Ivy. I knew somebody was gonna bring it up, and I I would have bet that it was you. Hell. Don't do the slam. Like the Xbox controller isn't just fucking vastly superior in every way. No, but you can cope though. You're so annoying. Yeah, maybe, yeah, I was going to say, maybe not the greatest idea to take him down to that, because he's definitely going to use his attack. This is not a great position to be in. It could be worse. Nah, you know what? This is about as bad as it's going to get. Okay. I hate you. I hate you. So, if you don't know the fight, uh, he basically is just going to stay in this form for the rest of the fight. And we have to find a way to kill him. And he just kind of is just going to keep doing this. Here it comes. It's going to be probably about as long as it took to get him to this point. I hate you. Fuck you. I think this was safe. No. No, it was not. Holy Bracer. Holy Bracer. Stop my deck. He's just spamming. I don't know what's safe over here. I guess that is. It's different every time. That, that's the cute part. You have to find where the safe spot is every fucking run. <laughs> Oh, knock it off. <laughs> that was good. Here it comes. Here it comes. Open your heart. No, I want you to just keep doing that over and over again. Please. For the sake of my fucking mental health, can you please just do that over and over? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, that's the, we're already fucking it up, Riku. Out of ethers. This is like worst case. Oh, what the fuck was that? I've never seen that happen before. That was a tech into a parry that was not really a parry. Suck my fucking dick. Not believe that he just did. <laughs> here we go again. We have fun here. Put the right one on. No.
We have fun here. Surrender. Come. That's gonna be my next, uh, my next voice thing. Or next audio redeem. It's just gonna be Riku saying, come. Everybody who's here in stream, you get that little sneak peek. I just want to make it very clear, though. Uh, I this is what I expected. I'm not. I'm expecting nothing from my performance. I'm fucking awful in this game. Like if if the entire fight was the first phase, I'm no problem. No problem. I got this shit down to a science. Everything else? Nah, no, no, no. Come on. Yeah. Heal. Show me your power. Useless. Come. Come. It's ironic that Riku tells you to come and then instantly jumps away from you. Yeah, I was getting pretty. Do the jump, you fucking dickhead. Thank you. I was going to think of something comedic and then I landed on dickhead and that's not that funny. Like, if he... Okay, I'm going to complain a little bit more. If he had the same sort of, like, attacking logic in this phase as he does in the other one, where, like, if I attack him, he does the, the side, like, I, it would be easy. But it's the fact that he just doesn't have logic. He just kind of keeps attacking over and over again. Thanks for just, like, letting me sit over here, buddy. I appreciate that. I'm going for two. I don't care. I will take the hit. I will gladly take the hit. I rolled back into it. Take that. Hi, Riku. You're cute. Can you tell me to come for some reason? God damn it. There's a timing thing to that. There's definitely a time to go. Surrender. 
that was very stupid. I just, <laughs> I just want everybody to know that that was a really dumb idea. <laughs> That I should not have done, but I did anyways. Go fuck up. Behold the power of darkness. Fuck off. Surrender. Here it comes. Fuck you, you were dead right there. Suck my dick, Riku. Oh, man. So that was faster than I expected. I figured that was probably going to take an entire stream. <laughs> I did it. The boss is dead. Man, I sure hope the next bosses are harder. They're not. It. I'm gonna set the expectation because the game does not set the expectation. There's four bosses ahead of us. Every single one of them are fucking pushovers. Starting with the first one. Behemoth is maybe the easiest boss in the entire franchise. <laughs> Behemoth stares at you while you kill him mercilessly. It, 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 he's there to make you feel bad. I mean, a keyblade that unlocks people's hearts. I wonder. And then you fight Ansem, and Ansem is like, he's scary for the first time, and then you sort of get down his cycle, and he doesn't change at all, so he's really easy. And then you fight the second Ansem, and he's easy. And then you fight World of Chaos, and World of Chaos is easy. <laughs> Oh, I guess Chernobog is also in there. Chernobog is annoying, but it, 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 he doesn't count. Also, Sora fucking kills himself here. <laughs> like as a bit, as like a, a ha ha funny bit. No. What's happening? Falling, falling into darkness. Sora? Are you really? No, he can't be. I won't let him go! I mean, that's cute, but that's not why he comes so back to life. You have awakened at last, princess. Hello, Ansem. The keyhole is now complete. He's hot. It served your purpose, but now it's over. You ever just take over somebody's body and then get hotter? Shout out, Ansem. <laughs>
You ever just turn into a heartless? This part of the game is always weird. I don't know. Uh, I think it's just faster to drop. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Because you... You just fuck. Nope. Uh, fuck. No, because the chapel goes out that way. You just fall here. Where? <laughs> Where did this. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Okay, we're here. Okay. I think this is where we need to be. Because we go over here. Yep. God, I'm so smart. That's me. I'm a little heartless. How's it going? I'm just a little dude. Hi, guys. No. Sora? Is that you? Oh. How symbolic. Sora. Sora! Go now. And then Come Kyrie back. goes back to being I written as a fall. useless damsel in distress for like 12 more Go. years. <laughs> And then they write Kingdom Hearts 3, right. and they're like, well, we can't show again. her being useful. She's a woman. What do you want us to do? <laughs> Tell me what happened. The game where they show her doing stuff is a fucking rhythm game. So the darkness is flowing out it's of so key. good. I love no wonder, it. There are more and more heartless Hi, everywhere. Earth. How are you not the dead? The way to stop them is seal the keyhole, right? Maybe, but no one knows what will happen once it's sealed. Well, we can't just stay here. We have to do something. I've got a friend back there. Yeah, you get like the training arc, and then don't you That's play right. as her in Remind? You have one more friend to worry about. I think, or is Riku's it? Must have you play as Roxas, Riku, and Sora. Just like that keyhole you saw. Of course. Without Kyrie's heart, it remained incomplete. Get Once fucked, Kyrie. Keyblade was destroyed. Get your own Keyblade. Should have been Train free. the Lee. Don't worry. Or Axel, whatever the fuck they call him now. I think I think Anyone he goes by Axel. Still, you can. And she's not used at all. <laughs> it's very funny. Okay, we're gonna go get a good get a good Keyblade now, because. That's a good use of our time. Uh, I have to remember how to fucking get there. It's over here. Uh, why are we shouting out Guns N' Roses? I mean, I respect it, and I 100% reciprocate it. Let me check over here real quick. Because I think I got some more, but I probably don't have enough to get. Never mind. I think I have 50, so we need to get half. 
I'm just gonna look it up. I like, I can go through all the worlds and find them, but I don't care enough. <laughs> No, that the guy that was in the the last scene was that's that's Leon. Horn page. That that's Axel Rose. Squall from Final Fantasy VIII's real name is Axel Rose. And he performs in the band Guns and Roses. Fuck you. Why are you not healing me, dickhead? I'm the one dying. Let me go out. Oh, God. I mean, he's fucking. I like. I get the meme and everything right. Like. But Goofy, in these games, he's the one who's actively fighting for his fucking life. <laughs> Wait, is this not activated yet? I don't care. I don't... I... Uh, I don't want to come back down here. Whatever. We'll go hang out with Merlin, I guess. The crusty old fuck. Hi, Merlin. Sorry I said that about you. Not really, though. You're kind of annoying. Where is the book? I don't... No. I have a torn page. Or, or is it just like a have all of them and then something activates? Either way, we can get a Mushu. That I will never summon. I don't think I have ever summoned Mushu in the entire, like... Fucking 15 years I've been playing this game. <laughs> Do I have any more? Oh. Thanks, Grandma. Cool. Thanks for bringing the mood down. Hope everything's alright. Oh, we don't have the yellow trinity yet. I don't know where you get that. I'm assuming probably end of the world. Or maybe after Behemoth. Also, I cannot believe that I just missed that jump. Cannot believe that. I think we have to go talk to Sid. Hello, sirs. Oh, now you want to heal me, huh? Now you want to heal me. I I don't care. You know what? I just don't care enough. <laughs> Hello, sir. Okay. Let's talk to Sid. Hello, Sid. The secret waterway. Goodbye, Sid. Now we gotta go all the way back. Yay! <laughs>
Ad pad, thank you. I think this is about where Goofy... Or not, uh, not Goofy. I think the, the hell that Goofy's at is about where Donald stops. Don't do it. Do not do it. I don't want to deal with you. Didn't ask. Ivy? Don't start. Hi, Kyrie. It would be cool if you gave me a keyblade. Just as like a bit. A light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, your grandma's story. Maybe right? one that's like. That's right. Good with magic and together. like decent strength you know and. Funny? I you looked know, everywhere for you. Not you bad. You were with me all along. Finally, we're together, Kyrie. Now, hey, hey Kyrie, can you pass me the Glock it. real quick? I know you're like we'll 11, but again between us. you definitely carry a Glock 17 everywhere you go. When I turned into a heartless, you saved me, remember? I was lost in the darkness. I couldn't find my way. As I stumbled through the dark, I started forgetting things. My friends, who I was. The darkness almost swallowed me. But then I heard a voice. Your voice. You brought me back. I didn't want to just forget about you, Sora. I couldn't. That's it. Our hearts are connected. And the light from our hearts broke through the darkness. I saw our hearts that. are connected. I think that's what saved me. No matter how deep the darkness, a light shines within. <laughs> Kyrie's like, I, dude, I, I than just a sure. Time. Like, what do you want me to say? <laughs> well, let's go. Yeah, exactly. Like, can we can't fucking go. leave? We're in a Why sewer not? right now, man. Because I don't want to sit here and listen to you dangerous. monologue. Come on, Sora. We made it this far by sticking together. You can't go alone. Kyrie, even if we're apart, we're not alone anymore, right? Wrong. You lost your heart, which I means you're not help? connected to each other anymore. You'd kind of be in my way. That's literally a story beat in <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 2. Okay. Come on, Either. Sora. You gotta stay on canon here. Take this. It's my lucky charm. Be sure to bring it back. Got out Wayfinders me. that for some reason they Don't did not worry. establish actually until like Promise? eight years after this game. Promise. Don't ever forget, wherever you go, I'm always with you. Hey! This isn't what the darkness looks like. Shout out Riku! He definitely, he's definitely not going to get stuck in here for like three years. I mean, for sure not. Like, I mean, we're going to save him. Like, 100%. By the end of this game, Riku will be out of the darkness. Don't worry, Riku. We'll save you. You can leave Detroit. <laughs> Who wants to bet money on if the person talking to him is a, a, a talking rat? Who wants to bet money?
Yeah, Ivy, this this was your commute to work every day. It literally looks exactly the same. Look inside your heart. They're dead as shit. <laughs> Okay, they're dead. I can live with that. We gotta do a fan dub of Kingdom Hearts 1. Let's go. Oathkeeper, top three Keyblade in the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Top three. Maybe top two. It's up there. The mid keeper, man, you're re you're just you're just really you're just swinging. I don't care. I don't care. I do not care. God damn it, we have to do it. Apparently, I care. <laughs> the best part about Oathkeeper is that you get the little wayfinder at the bottom, like, uh, like the BBS trio get. On all their upgraded Keyblades and their starter Keyblades. Hello, Sid. I forgot to do this. It's okay, Sid. It's fun. I'm having fun. Is there a white trinity here? I feel like I remember there being a white trinity in Traverse Town, but I don't know where it is. It might be over there. I don't care. Yeah, he's older, and he's got like a like a toothpick. But he's got like the 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 Zoro like like belly warmer thing going on. Might be worth revisiting. No. No, it's not. Uh, I think it's here, right? At this point, I've decided that I'm just not going to make another, uh... Okay, okay, okay. I'm just not going to make another gummy shit. Okay, we can't go back. I'm making the executive decision and not wasting my time. Okay, well, it wasn't my best showing. God, I wish this was Star Fox. Maybe then it would be fun. I saw a, uh, <laughs> I almost wanted to like save it and like go through it anonymously just because I don't I'm not trying to like spread hate to this person but I saw a a, a list like a, a 99 tweet list of reasons why Kingdom Hearts is bad from somebody who likes Kingdom Hearts and the list is I mean unhinged it completely is unhinged but I I one of them is that that the gummy ship stuff uh, shouldn't have been put in the game because it like takes away from the game too much. And I think about that every time that I'm in the gummy ship because uh, as much as I don't like the gummy ship stuff, to say that this takes away from it, like, I don't know, I feel like that almost misses the point. 
by almost, I mean definitely misses the point. I really don't want to die. I mean, everybody, everybody's got their opinion. I don't know if I can particularly agree, but uh, everybody's got their opinion. And I mean, so did that person. That person's just saying their opinion. There's nothing wrong with that. I will say some of their points are just fucking ridiculous. I, I almost want to pull it up. I don't know, I like... Uh, no. No, because it feels too, like, antagonistic. It feels like, hey, I'm going to go and point and laugh at what you feel about this game. It doesn't really... It doesn't sound that fun. This is the end. There's one more? Oh, no. Please. Please, Ivy. You're gonna summon fucking bacon. And I don't I don't think that I can mentally handle bacon being in my stream. Not right now. They have a couple times. They used to when I was actually good at streaming. And now I'm all washed up. This is the end. Why? 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 Why is it so long? Why? If you die at any point, it's fucking pain and suffering. Okay, okay. Ow! That was not great. Okay. Now we did it. Please, just let me go back to Hollow Bastion. We're gonna go get the the best Keyblade in the game, just for being here. This this is also this is another Keyblade that I I missed until I started playing the game as an adult, and then I just randomly found it. But as a, as a child, as a kid, uh, I did not know that this Keyblade existed. Oh, come on. Uh, they had the hearts. And the hearts is what opened the, the Kingdom Heart. Or whatever. This game's plot, it, it's a little bit more contrived than the, the future ones. Don't do it. Oh, come on. Not again. Oh, I already did this Trinity. They kind of set you up for that one, to be fair. We're going to go beat the shit out of Behemoth, because Behemoth is very easy. Also, this area is extremely loud for no reason. We're just running right through. Ow. Can you please, can you please, can you please, can you please, thank you. Thunder. 
Not like this. It just... Sir. I will happily jump off of this. Gotta stay cure. There. Heal. I built up too much time with that oh. being cure. Ow. I hate grit. Or proud. If this is critical, it, it's the same thing. I hate critical. Heal. At every point in the game, you just get fucking one tapped over and over again. Hi, guys. I'm gonna go grab a keyblade real quick. Which I believe is from the 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 no no they're they're up here, I guess. By the save. Oh. There's an entire cutscene. Great. I forgot. <laughs> Hi Bell. Oh Bell. Bacon, why are you here? Why were you, you added in the Discord so that you could fucking show up? You literally were. What the fuck? Hello, Bell. Divine Rose. I did not know this was a thing until I was I was an adult playing this game, but this shit is fucked. Like, genuinely, you can do every single boss for the rest of the game, including secret bosses with this Keyblade. It's fucking insane. <laughs> it's so good. And it's like, it's not terrible for magic, too. Like, Oathkeeper is definitely meant to be, like, the keyblade that you use for going magic for like the rest of the game, but Divine Rose, not bad. It's just really short. It's very stubby. But I mean, all the keyblades in this game are stubby, except for like the the pumpkin head and Ultima. Like everything else is super stubby. <sighs> okay. Um. I'm trying to think of where the cutoff point is. I'm pretty sure that you can beat Behemoth. You can go to the, the end of the world. And then I think you're good. As long as you don't progress past that point, because then that's all the Ansem fights. Or well, it's it's Chernabog and then it's all the Ansem fights. And I'm assuming that after you beat Chernabog, there's probably like you have freedom again. But I don't I don't I don't really want to fight Charitable. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. I, I really don't want to do that. How's it going, Chance? I see a chest up there. This isn't... This is not what I wanted. Force! Feel falsely advertised to. This is not what I asked for. Just woke up. It's three in the afternoon. <laughs> We're in the same time zone. What's going on? That's rough. This 
That's fair. I can respect that. Please leave me alone. I don't I don't want to do this. Ow. Thunder. 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 Ow. Thunder. Thunder. Just fucking curved. Oh, I gotta change all my stuff. Yeah, I gotta change all my stuff back. We're really not like situated to be dealing damage help. like this. We're kind of like designed to be fighting bosses with the way we think we have things set up. But I don't think that that's a bad thing. Mm. I'm going to keep it. We lose the treasure magnet, which, I mean, that, like, genuinely does suck. Treasure magnet is great, but I think it might just be fine. I'm feeling the damage loss, though. Now I'm mad. I'm feeling the damage loss, though, from, uh, swapping off Spellbinder. Spellbinder definitely gives you more magic, but Oathkeeper gives you, like, the three more strength and the, uh, extra magic, so... It is, like, ultimately more worth it, but it doesn't feel as good, that's for sure. At least, like, when you're spamming spells, it doesn't feel as good. But hey, it also looks cool, and that counts for something, right? Don't touch me. Don't you dare fall off. Sora? Sora? Oh my god. I have to go all the way back up. <laughs> Please just leave me alone. Don't even look at me. Don't even look at me. I'm gross. I'm weird. Don't look at me. Aren't there supposed to be more of the princesses here? Or is that like after the game? Like, doesn't Jasmine show up here? And I feel like that I remember that like pretty well. Sora, stop grabbing the fucking ledge. I'm gonna lose my mind. I don't know where this goes. The answer is probably not where I want to go, but I don't know where. Ow, fuck. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't where I want to go. Heal. That one enemy does more than half of my health. Just just to put it in perspective here. More than half of my health. Defender. Or not. I'm gonna say it every time. Every time I kill one of those, I'm just gonna assume that I'm gonna drop Defender, and then I will be happy. 
And if I don't get it, I'll be irrationally upset, even though I'm pretty sure it's a 1% drop chance. But you know what? I deserve it. Ow. Fuck you. Heal. Here. Fuck off. Thunder. 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 Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure, video game. Please just fucking let just let me leave. All I'm asking thunder, is for you to let me thunder, leave. Thunder, 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 here, I'm gonna keep here, pressing the button. Thunder, thunder, here, thunder. Or if you fall down, I swear to fucking God, we're gonna have a moment. We're gonna have a real moment here. I can't do anything! <laughs> I'm in the fucking recovery frames of getting a, a bounce. I literally can't do anything. Thunder. Just want to get to Behemoth and kill Behemoth and then end stream. Because Behemoth is very easy and I'm not intimidated by him at all. But I would like to get at least two bosses down for the rest of the stream so that the next stream we can finish the game and get on to the next game. <laughs> because God... I love Kingdom Hearts 1. It holds a very dear place in my heart, but it, it is not the most fun game to play. There are other things that I could be doing. Like, like Chain of Memories. I think Chain of Memories is like one of the few Kingdom Hearts that I've never played. Like at all. I think maybe like I've, I've loaded the game up at some point, but I don't think I've ever actually like beat it or, or played it like in general. So I'd rather have that be the stream that we have than me just sitting here getting killed by random fucking enemies over and over again. Hello, sir. Goodbye. Please, please just let me in. I beg you. Please. Yeah, Chain of Memories is the, the card one. It's the one that uh has like the commands and stuff. For what it's worth, I know that game is very difficult too. I'm probably going to be having just as bad of a time, but I would rather be playing something new than something I've played like, I don't know how many times before. Okay, my controller just let, I hope that enemies don't spawn because it's going controller. Uh oh, my controller's still not plugged in. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Ow. You know, it's not who I really wanted to fight, but I'm also not looking forward to. Well, I. You know what I mean. I'm looking for. I'm very much looking forward to Kingdom Hearts 2. But Kingdom Hearts 2 is also just a lot more of an investment. The game's a lot longer. You have to grind, just like actually grind. And that's also a game that I feel like I've never like. I don't think that I've ever played that game correctly, if that makes sense. Like I, I was watching somebody play it years ago now at this point, but just watching them like go through and level the forms. I've never done that. <laughs> I've never taken time to level any of the forms in Kingdom Hearts 2. And I know that that makes the game significantly harder, but I've never done it. So I, I want to be able to go through and like play it on critical because I, I, I don't, I, if I had to take a guess, I've never finished a game on critical. I don't think that I have. Maybe, but I don't think so. But being able to go through on critical and like leveling up everything like that, a lot of that is gonna be kind of a first time experience. As weird as that sounds. I mean, it's fucking, it's Kingdom Hearts 2. Who hasn't played Kingdom Hearts 2 like a million times? 
Sorry, Goofy. You you died for my sins. And honestly, you deserved it. But I do feel bad. Yeah, I don't know, like there there's just there was something about uh watching those people play and like level up the forms that was like that really made me understand like, oh my experience with Kingdom Hearts 2 is not the normal experience. <laughs> I did not really get the same outcome as a lot of people. <laughs> Ow. But I'm excited. I'm excited to get through all these uh all these side games. I'm excited to play Kingdom Hearts 2. It's been like Three years since I last played it? It's been a while. Always happy to play BBS. I still have to figure out emulating uh, 358 by 2 because we are playing that game. We're not just going to watch a fucking movie. We are going to play 358 by 2. It's still, like, kind of insulting to think about the fact that they just put in a, a movie version of 358 by 2 How insulting. Yeah, I, it wasn't great. I remember... <laughs> One of, like, the first times that I played Kingdom Hearts 2, I remember, like, vividly getting to uh, the Mulan world and thinking, like, this game is bullshit. Like, this game is too hard. I don't know how anybody can enjoy this. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that, that, that's me being dumb. <laughs> Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm not gonna talk to all of you. None of you give me things. And really, I only talk to people because they give me things. We're gonna go rush to Behemoth. And then we're getting out of here. I could farm. Nah, we'll, we'll just do Behemoth. Hi, guys. I can't wait to embarrass myself because I'm definitely under leveled for this. Hi, buddy. You're cute. Your arena makes me want to puke. So this guy has, I believe, about double the health of, uh, the, of the last boss but the really cool part is is you just kind of sit here on his back and you just hit him until he dies and uh it's funny because it's so easy <laughs> it's uh it's definitely a boss fight. Oh. He definitely can kill you. Like, I've, I've for sure been killed by him before. But a lot of it is like, like what just happened there. Like, he goes for the... the like, you, you knock him down, basically. And then right afterwards, he'll do an attack. And that's, like, usually where you die. If you die at all to him, that's where you die. So, like, this right here. If you die at all to him, you die right there. Also, uh, Donald is doing the cheese strat for me, where you just spam gravity, because, uh, gravity is very good. Yeah, this is a boss. This is a boss that you fight directly after, like, arguably one of the harder bosses of the game. It's, again, almost insulting. <laughs> Wind. 
but hey, at least he's easy, and he, he very much makes you drop your guard for the next boss. I am not looking forward to fighting Chernabog. He is objectively more engaging than Ursula, but I think that I have about the same amount of fun. get enough to cast arrow again because it's kind of a weird breakpoint. We'll be fine, but Yeah, this this is a behemoth. This is like a weird uh, enemy type that actually ends up showing up again. And you fight him as a... This is like... As far as I can think of, at least. This is like... The one case of the game introducing you to an enemy so they can reintroduce it as a normal enemy. Because you end up fighting a behemoth later on. Or another one just as like a, like a semi-normal enemy. I tried to time that. I think this gives you Super Glide, if I remember correctly. It either gives you Super Glide or it gives you nothing. I can't remember if you get Super Glide before or after you fight Chernabog, though. That's really what's, like, throwing me off here. Okay, you get it after. Mega Arts. Is that a physical one? It's probably a physical now one. Now let's go and seal that big keyhole. You got it, Goofy. Nora, you did it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say he was hard. This is retconned. They came up with like four different reasons why all this stuff happened over the course of the franchise. It's very funny. We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. No matter where we are, our hearts will bring us together again. Okay, Eric. Besides, I couldn't forget you even if I wanted to. What's that supposed to mean? Hurry, come and close the keyhole. Sora, good luck. Look at that keyblade. I'm, I'm telling you, it's top three. It's gotta be top three. And then wherever this goes, Oblivion goes directly below it. And that's mostly because of Roxas. That, you know what, actually? I'll go even harder than that. That's almost entirely because of Roxas. <laughs> Let's go. Huh. 
pumpkin head and then whatever the other one is called that I don't remember but it's the the fucking Santa hat one I actually like that one I think that one looks cool we might hold on let's see how long have I have I been streaming we, we might be able to do a little bit of a tomfoolery here if I can hold on this is for sure going to be here. Kingdom Hearts. Keyblade tier list. I will just bang out one real quick. I will happily do that. Okay, this is great. This, this is a good one. Because this is... This is a lot. There's a lot of Keyblades here. Uh, is this all Kingdom Hearts 2? Mm, no. No, no, no. This, this is... All of the usable ones, I think, for every single game. For some of these, I don't recognize them, so... Okay, we'll do this. We will end stream with a with a cheeky little... Uh... Hold on. Not, I mean, display capture works. I want window capture, though. Let's see. There, there. No, no, God. We're gonna do a, a, a cheeky little one. That's not it. Don't look at what I'm what I'm watching while I'm streaming. That's cheating. I have to fit it to screen. Okay. Here we go. Uh, it doesn't show the thing. Hold on. Window capture. Properties. Oh, no. Okay. It, it is capture my cursor. Okay. We're just going to bang through this real quick. I'm not going to recognize a lot of them because it's just been too long. Uh, so we're just going to go strictly by looks and that's it. But a lot of these will be from just like nostalgia to be completely honest with you. So this one, I don't remember. <laughs> I literally don't. Oh, Brightcrest. Uh, that's Aqua. Okay, so this is an Aqua Keyblade. This is the one that you get after finishing the... Or, like, starting the secret episode, you get Brightcrest. So it's one that you don't use all that often, but it's one that I actually really, really like. And I like it more. Or I would have liked it more if you actually did use it. But, oh well. Wow, I, I just just kind of realizing uh, all of these are BBS ones. <laughs> it just it starts with all the BBS ones. I love this. Okay, so that's probably like it's probably here. These are stupid. I hate when they like they go crazy with this. We're just gonna do S. I don't know why more lists don't just do this. A, B. C. C, D, and then F. Uh, uh, I don't remember what this one is called, but this is a Terra one. They always have the name, a Chaos Ripper. So this is a Terra one. Uh, this is one that you use a lot. Like a lot, a lot. It is great. So, that, I mean, it's got to be like low S, high A. It's very, very good. Uh, I can try and do... Oh, not that. I'm going to do this. Maybe that's a little bit better. We can go even crazier with that. We can do that. Hopefully that's better. Okay. Uh, this is the Ultima. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to check. Crown and Limiter. Round and limiter. What the fuck is that? It's a BBS one though. I think it's the one you get for doing all of the uh all of the trials, whatever they call them. I actually can't remember. It's probably B. Maybe not even. Maybe C. Uh this one is really good also, but you get it at a very awkward time. Dark gnaw. 
I, I'm not going to remember by name, so I'm just probably going to check all of them. Uh, you don't use this one all that often, though, because you get it from doing the trials, and you get it after you get Chaos Ripper, so there's no real point to using it. It's also way chunkier than it looks, and it already looks very chunky. So, it, it, like, high C. Uh, this is S. No question about that. This is Terra's, I think, upgraded? I'm pretty sure. I think... I don't see the base one. Yeah, I don't see the base one, so I'm pretty sure these are all the upgraded ones. Oh, no, 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 because this is the base one, too. And where's Aqua? Yeah, Aqua's here. It's called Rainfell. I think. Or maybe that's the, the upgraded one? Oh, it is. Yeah, Rainfell. Okay, so th these... Either way, upgraded, unupgraded, they're crazy. I mean, I'm honestly... They all go S tier. I'm just going to do it now because they deserve it. Where did... There you go. They're all S tier. They're all so good. Such good designs. Uh, This one... It, 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 I've never used it. It's really not great. Uh, So D. This one is top tier because you only get it on Ventus. And it's very not good. Oh, wait, no. Uh, is this... Shit. Do you get it on Ventus or you get it on Aqua? Frolic Frame. This might be an Aqua one. I don't remember. <laughs> you only get it on one of them, though. And it's not very good when you get it. This one is... I actually like this one. It's kind of hard to see the design on it. In-game, it looks a lot better. Um, I think it's like a really cute way to do it. I'm probably going to put this one here. Um, because, I don't know. It's actually meant to mimic uh, Axel's Chakram. So that's like a cool thing. That's why like the handle is a Chakram. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is... It's all right. It's probably it's probably a B. Uh, this is this game's Oblivion or Lost Memory. It's Oblivion. It's it's explicitly meant to be Oblivion. Uh, you only get it on Ventus. It's very good. It's also it looks insane. It's a high A. It's got to be a high A. I'm I, I'm sure by the time that we finish this. And I'm seeing ones that I don't recognize, so this is probably going to hold true for those. Um, I don't usually go for, like, the super crazy looking ones. A lot of the times, I like the more, like, kind of basic designs. So, the basic designs are going to win 99% of the time. So, even this one, like, it looks nice. And it, it, you know, it's pretty, like, straightforward. It's a little too much. I really do like this one. You get it from... The Colosseum, obviously, Olympus, but it's it's got to be a C. It's a Colosseum Keyblade. It can't be higher. Uh, this is Master Erica's Keyblade. I don't remember what it's called. I know you do get it on Aqua in the secret episode. Um, it's cool. I really like it. It has a lot of significance in the story. It's somewhere in here. It's somewhere like top three. Uh, this one, sure, we're just going to fly through some of them. This one is going to go the exact same spot because I feel the exact same about both of them. I've gotten this Keyblade once in my, the one time that I've fully completed all of Birth by Sleep. I have nightmares getting this. I don't want to see it anymore. <laughs> this might be the worst looking Keyblade in the entire franchise. Absolutely awful. Looks terrible. This is the Ultima of birth by sleep and it might be my favorite one it might genuinely be my favorite ultima it's it's between this one and kingdom hearts 3 which is uh here i really like kingdom hearts series i think it's a very cool take on it but i birth by sleeps oh man oh it's so nice it's so nice okay so these ones i do not recognize whatsoever which makes me think that they are probably dream drop i don't recognize these at all like at all um so it is going purely off of looks yeah i'm pretty sure this is dream drop because i think this is the uh the the hunchback of notre dame and these look like i mean they're like the the, the wrong direction too so that has got to be well no it's not those that are the wrong direction. It's all the Kingdom Hearts 3 ones that are in the wrong direction. Okay, so just going off of looks. Uh, this one looks not great. Don't like them. Uh, this one... 
Sure. Wait, hold on. Maybe maybe this will say all for one. Yeah, I don't know. This one's cool. This is this is definitely a Riku Keyblade. So is this one. This is definitely a Riku Keyblade. And I'm kind of with it. It is very over the top. So I'm kind of I'm going against a little bit of what I said. But like probably high B, low A. Let's go let's go high B for now. Cuz I probably feel about the same as these two. But I like this a lot better. Uh this is Tron. I'm assuming Tron Keyblades are always cool. There's not that many of them. I think there's only two. Uh, I think. Because yeah, you have this one and you have this one. And I'm pretty sure this is... That's it. It's alright. It's like very inoffensive. Uh, I don't know this one at all. This looks like a Terra or Riku Keyblade. It's very edgy. Uh, I see. Very, like, middle of the pack. Is this candy? This, what is this? Fantasy note. Is that Fantasia? It must be Fantasia. That makes me like it more. There's a little violin going on. Music notes. Treble clef is the, the head of the Keyblade. I'm kind of into it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it, but looking at like what I got going on up here, I there's no shot that that's going up there. <laughs> uh, let's do some moving around. So this is gonna drop. This can stay. I no well no let's swap them. Let's swap them. I like this one more. And then the no this is fine. How this is right now is fine. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if I can even guess what world this is. Ferris gear. That does not help. Um, What is a uh, Kingdom Hearts game that focuses on a Ferris wheel? Or a, a Disney world that focuses on a Ferris wheel? I don't know. It's probably a D though. That doesn't look great. This one is cool. I'm down with this. Is this the Hunchback one? Guardian Bell? It probably is. I like this one. It's very simplistic. I'm into this. Yeah. That feels right. Maybe they, 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 these can be interchangeable. But I like this one. This one's cool. Uh, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. What is this one called? Knockout Punch. Sure. Right in the middle. Mm. That feels right. This is this feels very Atlantis. Ocean Rage. Oh, is this Monstro? This is like they get the whale going on here. This must be Monstro. I didn't realize they did it like another Monstro. That's weird. Sure. Uh so again, it's very inoffensive. Probably goes there. You know what? Hold on. Okay, we're back to where we started, but this does feel better. Uh, this one is insane. Skull noise. I have no idea where this is from. But it probably goes, like, here. Okay. Is this a cooking mama? Okay, oh, I, I can tell now. This is for sure Dream Drop because this one is like 100% there's a dream eater on the top. I'm into this. I always like the goofy ones. The goofy ones are cool. Where they're like, they're very stylized and they have like a whole bunch of stuff going on. I'm into it. I feel like they only really happen in the handheld games though. Yeah. Oh, oh, grab the wrong one. This can go like this can go here. I feel comfortable with that. As much as I haven't played the game, I like it. It's cool. It stands out. Uh, this is the Ultima. 
I'm, I'm assuming of Dream Drop. Um, it is very similar to Birth by Sleeps, but the color grading on it does not look as good. It's still an Ultima Keyblade though. Like it's gotta be, you gotta give it a little bit of respect. Do I like it more than I like Frolic Frame, Flame, and these? Probably. Do I like it more than this? No. So this feels right. I have no idea what this is. What is this called? Unbound. Uh. Door? <laughs> uh. You go right next to the Tron one. You, It looks like a Tron one. Okay, so these are Kingdom Hearts 3 ones. Um, up until this. this is all Kingdom Hearts 3. And then everything after this, I think, is all Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah. I don't recognize this one, though. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Uh, this is the... Is this the Toy Box one? No, this is the Toy Box one. Which one is this? Shit, I don't remember. I think you might th get this one from doing all of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get this one from doing all the... Uh, the... Uh, the phone games. It's actually pretty good. Um, I like its abilities. These ones are a little bit weird because, like, they all have forms. And they all change pretty drastically. So, like, I'm... I'm kind of weighing them as normal Keyblades and also as the forms. Um, this one's form is really good. But the base Keyblade's a little wonky. It doesn't look as, like, polished as the other one. So probably, like, here. It feels right. I can I, I can feel comfortable with that. Uh, this is the Ratatouille one. It is not very good. <laughs> but it looks great. I really like how the Ratatouille one looks. Probably here. After the, the hyperspace drive. Uh, this Keyblade is absolutely broken, but I, I genuinely really don't like the way that it looks. I think that this is like one of the weaker Keyblades of Kingdom Hearts 3. It is, it's so boring. It's so safe. It's very good. It's very good, but it's so boring. Uh, this one is the, 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 the neo Francokia one, whatever. What, what is it called? I can't remember what it's called. It's obvious. You can look at it and tell what it's from. Uh, I like it. It's neat. It has a really cool form. But it, you get it at a weird time, so you don't actually use it for that much, unless you upgrade it. It probably goes here. Yeah, it probably goes there. Arendelle Keyblade? I like this one. I like this one a lot. I'm actually... I'm using this one mostly in my playthrough that I'm that I, like, have completely abandoned at this point, but... I really like it. I love the way that it looks. I love the, the effects to it. I love the model. Uh, it's probably an A. I might even like it more than the Dream Drop Ultima. <laughs> I really like it. I think it looks nice. I don't have to talk about this one. This one doesn't exist. <laughs> you get that one from, uh, from Monsters, Inc. And it's bad and it looks really bad. Uh, I've never used this Keyblade. But I think it looks really, really nice. For an Olympus Keyblade, I think it looks very, very clean. I think it has to go to A. Uh, this Keyblade is insane, and I love the way that it looks. That's easy A. I'm going to start going quicker, because I'm realizing that there's a lot more left. I don't have to go and explain every single one. Uh, this is one of the cleanest Keyblades in the entire fucking franchise. I love the simplistic. I, it's the same thing as like the Kingdom Key. Kingdom Key is the best looking Kingdom or Kingdom, best looking Keyblade in the entire game. Are none. There's nothing that looks better than the Kingdom Key. In my humble opinion, uh, this is the Tangled one. It's all right. It's okay. It's whatever. Uh, this is the Toy Story one. It doesn't deserve B. It doesn't. Oh, the honey pot. Or honey spout, whatever it's called. This is the uh, Thousand Acre Wood one. I like it. I wish it were better. 
But I like the way that this one looks. It is very on the nose, though, though, to be fair. It's another B. That's another B one. I was going to try and, like, drop it down to C, but it... It's a B. It deserves that. Uh, this one is a... I believe it's, like, a pre-order key that you get on Xbox. I, like... It, it's a kingdom key, right? But it looks different. It has a different color scheme. And that would make me want to put it in S, but I'm not. I'm not going to put it in S. I'm going to put it in F because it just looks worse. Uh, these two, I believe, are also uh, pre-orders. Like, you get this one, I think, for Steam. And you get this... Or no, not, uh, not Steam. This is PlayStation. And this is Epic. I'm pretty sure. I think that's the the, the breakdown of it all. Uh, the, I mean, this one looks nice. I like the the color scheme on it, and obviously the model is really clean. It's a uh, it's Mickey's Keyblade. This one it goes right next to it. It looks so. Eh, you know what? Actually, no. I don't like the colors as much on uh, on this one. Even though I like green better, I don't think that it looks nicer than the uh, the all blue. Okay, Kingdom Hearts two. This is a nice one. That's a nice one. What is this one called? Bond of Flame. That's a nice one. That's a real... I don't, you know what? I don't even remember this one. And that's a nice one. That deserves the A. This one is gross, and I don't want to look at it anymore, so I'm going to put it in D. This is, it, it, this is not a good picture of it, but this is the other Halloween Town one. Um, I actually really like it. I think I like it more than the pumpkin head one, which we haven't done because I think it's, yeah, it's right down here. Um, I think I like it more than pumpkin head, honestly. It's a little bit more like specific, right? With like the, the Santa Claus stuff going on, but I like it. I think it looks really clean. I don't think that I've ever used it before though. <laughs> I, I honestly don't think, get out of here. I don't think that I've ever used it before. Um, this one that I also don't recognize for some reason, uh, it, it's a C. What is this one called? Fatal Crest. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I literally don't recognize this one. I don't know where you get this. Now, you know what, actually looking at this, it's gotta be like here. I was thinking like, I don't, it doesn't deserve to be next to the Tron one. <laughs> it really doesn't. Uh, this is a top tier Keyblade. This is a top, top tier. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, that feels, that feels better. Just shooting it to S, it, that doesn't make sense. But that, I can, I could I could justify that. That looks nice. Uh, this is another great one. Love this one. but not enough to put it in A. Not enough. I can't sign off on that. Oh, is this a... Uh, do you get this from Aaron? Yeah. I forgot about that whole, like, storyline. Kingdom Hearts 2 is pretty good. <laughs> uh, this one goes in, like... This is a nice one. It, again, it's, like, it's very simple. It's super clean. It probably goes above this. Above the uh Caribbean one. What what is this one? It's not it's not high wind, is it Wayfinder? Is it literally just called Wayfinder? Oh god, I just pressed the wrong button. Oh no. Oh, it's called Gullwing. Uh I like this one, but I really only like it because you get it from the Final Fantasy X-2 girls. To be completely honest with you, it's the only reason. It's not that good. It doesn't look that good. I just like the way that you get it. I think it's really cool. You got like the the Valifor, uh tail coming off of it as the the cross guard. I think that's neat. Uh, it's probably there. I like it. The Olympus one. If I put Kingdom Hearts three Olympus one there, I gotta put that one here. That it. It's another super clean one. It looks so nice. The shore. I don't know. I've never really liked this one. There you go. 
water and fire right there. This one's top tier. I don't care what anybody says. I do not care what anybody says. This one is great. I can't remember what that world was called. It's the old timey world that you fight Pete in. Great Keyblade. Great Keyblade. Love it. Always have loved it. I do not recognize this one. Mysterious Abyss. This must be Atlantis? Like Atlantis... The optional one that you get from doing the rhythm game? <laughs> uh, sure. I don't know. It's probably here. That feels right. Tron. This one is better than the Dream Drop one, but not by much. Probably like here. This is a top tier one. But not so top tier that it deserves the A. It's probably like somewhere in here. Probably like there. I really like this one though. It is very over the top, but I like it. Uh, top tier. That's another A. <laughs> Mickey's Keyblade. Where? Do, uh, so I put this one here. Mm, put it here. Mm, let's say he here. Yeah, that feels right. Thousand Acres one. This might be the worst one out of the bunch. This one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that one looks nice. <laughs> the Ultima. Uh, I, I, if I could be honest with you, I've never liked this Ultima. I think it looks a little goofy. I like this one. and the I like both of these. For the same reason that they, well, for one of the reasons I like both of them is for the same reason. And that's like when it gets down to the cross guard and to the handle, it doesn't just like kind of become boring. Like there's stuff going on still with this one. It's like, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of boring. There's not much going on there. It does look nice though. I mean, it, it deserves to be higher than the, the dream drop one, probably higher than Arendelle. Let's put it here. It's an Ultima. I mean, it's going to get a crazy nod, but I don't think that I like it more than any of these. No. Uh, I've never seen this Keyblade before, or at least I don't think that I have. Winner's Proof. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. It looks really cool, though. I like the, the theme of it. Put it like an A. Nah. Let's put it here. I've been trying to find something that goes here. That feels right. Okay, is this all Kingdom Hearts 1 now? Is this one Kingdom Hearts 1? I keep doing that. Wishing Lamp. Okay, no, no, no. This is Kingdom Hearts 2 Agrabah. Uh, this one's really nice. I really, really like this one. I really like that one. And it, it sucks, too, because, like, this one is the Kingdom Hearts 1 Agrabah. And I really like this. And then it looks super clean. But uh, the this one just kind of does that and does it so much better. So, oh, well. Uh, and then I, I... Are these all Kingdom Hearts 1? Yes. Yes. What the fuck? What is this one? Oh, okay. Never mind. You get this from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that one. Okay. King Watts 1. So the, the game that we're actively playing right now. Uh, This one sucks. This one's pretty good. Probably like... Here? Yeah. is a top tier one it's top it just i like it it's cool it feels like you know there, there are some keyblades that are really thick so it feels like you're running around beating people to death with a bat and it i don't know there's a level of like satisfaction that's found in that it's like this one like this is the bbs uh olympus one you don't feel like you're using a keyblade you feel like you're running around beating people with a bat it's great, especially when you're Terra and it's super long and you're just fucking whacking people. It's uh, so good. 
Uh, same with this one. I've always liked this one. I think this one's really cool. I like the way that, uh, like, the way, uh, the place that you get it, it's not like, they could have done something super on the nose, made it into, like, a clock, right, for Neverland. I like the fact that they didn't. That being said, it's probably, like, here. Probably. Maybe not even there. Maybe that's giving it too much. I'm going to be a little bit more, like, you know, bias heavy with Kingdom Hearts 1. We're playing it right now, so. Sure. Yep. <laughs> uh, I like this one. This one's neat. I don't know if it's a neat, but it's neat. Probably here. I think that's cool. Yeah, I can't remember what this one's called. We can get this one right now. Lionheart. That was my guess, but I didn't want to say it and be stupid. This one's cool, though. It's meant to be after... Themed after Squall. It definitely is... Themed after Squall. <laughs> but I think it's neat. This is Metal Chocobo. Always a winner. It's always a winner. They got... I mean, we got three back-to-back-to-back in A, but it it's a winner. It looks so good. Oathkeeper, this is an A. Or an A. This is an S. Uh, I like this better than the Ultimas. This is up there with the, the BBS trio. It's gotta be. It's so clean. And you know what? We're gonna skip to it. Oh, we don't even have to. Oblivion, it's up there too. It's up it's it's gotta be. We we have all of the uh protagonist that I love in S. It has to happen, right? We got fucking Sora, we got Terra, Aqua, Ventus. Roxas. It's gotta happen. It, call me a fucking shill. It's gotta happen. Olympus, this is the weakest one of the bunch. It's not close. It does not look good. I'm, I'm trying to put it there. There. Uh, Pumpkinhead. Pumpkinhead is cool. This has always been a favorite of mine. What we got going up here? We gotta move some stuff. We gotta move some, this gotta go down. I keep looking at it. This is the one that keeps popping out to me. It's cool, but this one's just better. Yeah. This one's crazy. One winged angel. But I don't like it more than I like Frolic Flame. So there's that. Spellbinder looks like ass. <laughs> it's a great keyblade, but God, it looks terrible. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 Ultima. It. it uh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do some moving around, though. That's probably the way that I would, I would rate the Ultimas. I love BBS. I'm going to prioritize anything BBS over everything else, but if I'm being objective here, or semi-objective, it's Kingdom Hearts 3, it's Kingdom Hearts 1, and then it's Birth by Sleep. It just... It's still clean, but... And I love the way that it changes with the different characters, but it it's not better than these two. It's not. Kingdom Hearts 1 Ultima is just... Uh, it's so nice. It's so nice. We'll get it, too. We will absolutely get it. Uh, this one... I mean, I like it. I actually do. I don't think that it's that goofy, but it it's not that good. <laughs> uh, and this, again, this is a, a, a genuine favorite of mine. I've always loved this Keyblade, but looking at like the way that our, the rest of the list is going, it probably has to go like somewhere here. So I'm happy with everything in S and like 90% of things in A. There's some stuff here that I could probably move down and not feel too bad about it. Like, this could, like, easily drop to here, and it would be like, sure, I'm going to have the same opinion. But, yeah, I think everything here is, like, I'm cool with it. Protagonist, Keyblades, again, they're going to be up here. It's, what can you do? They got to win. <laughs> they they got to win. 
I don't know, even like even some stuff down here, like I actually do enjoy a lot of the stuff. Like I said, like this one looks really nice. It's just it's too like safe. And the way that you get it is like so weird. I, I for the longest time I didn't even know that you could get that. So this one is cool. Uh this one is neat. I really like this one. I love that it's like super colorful. If it was maybe a little bit more straightforward with like its shaping, I would like it a lot more. But yeah, there you go. There's a list. Don't do that. There you go. Let me see. It takes forever for this to pop up. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna close this. But there you go. We did it all. All of them are done. Wait, what just happened? There. The game was open that entire time. <laughs> Let me get a screenshot. Post it. I don't know. In my announcements, I guess. There you go. It's there. It's immortalized. And close this. Okay. We're going to get out of here. Yeah, I haven't checked it. I've literally not checked it. I just don't... Like, I... Okay. <laughs> I do it for other streamers that I'm, like, a mod for, but I don't check mine. Uh, I believe that everybody that I wanted to raid has finished streaming. So that's cool. So I think we're just not going to raid? Yeah, we'll probably not raid. Unless I want to stream for another hour, and then Strange goes live, but I don't want to do that, so. But thank you, gamers, for hanging out. I appreciate you. It took 40 minutes. God damn. I was trying to go a little bit quicker, too. <laughs> oh, well. Didn't ask. Suck my dick. Thank you, gamers, though. Thank you for hanging out. We, uh, we got two bosses down. Realistically, we didn't do much, but... We've kind of set ourselves up for just kind of one-shotting the rest of the game. Uh, as long as I can get Chernobog down relatively quickly, um, I think we can do it all in one stream. But it really comes down to that one boss. If we can kill Chernobog quickly. <laughs> one. Okay. If we can kill Chernobog quickly, we will be good. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm going to take off. Fuck you guys. Get out of here. Go away. I wish that I can raid. It always feels weird to just like end stream, but I don't know. Go go hang out with somebody else on Twitch. Go call me babe. Babe. Okay, I'm going. Thank you guys for hanging out. Goodbye. You can type in my offline chat. I don't care. Fuck you guys. <laughs>